Now, the private prosecution case involving former President Jacob Zuma and his successor, Cyril Ramaphosa, has been postponed to the 6th of August. All of this being heard in the High Court in Johannesburg. The former president is accusing Ramaphosa of being an accessory after the fact in relation to the leaking, alleged leaking of his private information to the NPA. Uh, the developments in court have wrapped up, but of course it seems there's a whole lot more activity outside court now. That's where we find our Ntanta Katani, who's watching developments from that vantage point. And Ntanta, the gazebo's up, the stage is set. It seems we may have an opportunity to hear from the former president. Well, a very good morning to you, indeed, coming to you from uh, city centre here at the Johannesburg High Court, Ayanda. Since we gathered here, we've seen um, a lot of MK members, you know, coming in to show support uh, to former President Jacob Zuma and the now leader of uh, the newly established MK party. Uh, quite interesting, Ayanda, is that if you remember the last time former President Jacob Zuma uh, was here, uh, it was a different scene. I think a lot of things have changed now. You see uh, a lot of MK uh, people or be him being flagged by MK supporters to come and show up support to him uh, since that historic uh, announcement in mid-December uh, last year. But like I said, since our arrival here, we've seen uh, a stage just behind me uh, being set up. Definitely that means that uh, former President Jacob Zuma and the current leader of MK uh, is going to address his supporters. But with me, uh, I and I have a couple of uh, party members who are just going to talk to us with regards to uh, why they are here. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, just talk to us, Ula, uh, why are you here? Gilana, who is a supporter of Baba Umsholo, Zubabu Mamalala, Mobago Kesia Zuguti, Guzo Hambagate, South Africa, since Kesia Zuguti, and also protector Isolate. Since Kesia Guye Naik Pelaje, he hope he took clean. He's our last hope, Kashegat. So, we support him. Kumnyama Gubovu, so we support him, Sholo, as a guide. I am just going to bring a provincial uh, leader here, um, Bafana, who's going to talk to us with regards to uh, you guys are here. I mean, like I said earlier on in my introduction, the last time the former president was here uh, with regards to these issues, there were no support of MK. You guys are here. Yes, we are here because um, there have been developments since the 16th of, 16th of December, wherein Um Kondoisiz was launched as a political party. And we know that uh, what is happening to our president, Comrade Jacob Zuma, is actually a persecution that in every aspect they must uh, actually treat him like a special citizen, wherein we are saying uh, no one is above the law. We are also saying we are all equal before the law. So it means the treatment that President Jacob Zuma is getting, it's actually clear that he is being persecuted to actually stifle his political career and the, the role that he must play in society. And we believe that even the outcome of the constitution where he was sentenced previous, it shows that it was unprecedented, wherein he was sentenced to 15 months of imprisonment. Whereas we know that what does the statute say? It's a, it's a six month period and a, with an option of a fine. But in his case, they found it necessary that he must be sentenced to 15 months. We are thankful that the judiciary has actually uh, proved that that was actually wrong in a way because the IEC also tried to stop him from uh, ascending to the position of uh, parliament again and ultimately as a, as a National Assembly member. Yes. The matter has been postponed. Your reaction to it? Yeah, well, we know that there's delaying tactics to make sure that uh, those who are supposed to appear to account for their actions are not here, they are not brought before the court. Because precisely what this matter is about is about private information that was uh, revealed to the public, which was not supposed to be the case. And in this case, he brought all the people that were involved in this matter, including the current sitting president, President Ramaphosa, to say he must also account for his role in the matter. And we can see that somehow uh, there are those who are protected by the judiciary and there are those who are persecuted. What's your view to those who say that, you know, former President Jacob Zuma is abusing the system? No, he's not abusing the system. Um, as I said earlier on, he is actually enjoying the rights of the constitution, the very constitution of the country, that you are all equal before the law. So it means that whenever the matter is brought before the, the court, he has a right to defend himself, you know. So he's, he's, he's merely following what is his rights as a citizen of this country. In a nutshell, just take us through, now that the case has been postponed, uh, what's going to happen going forward from here? 
Well, it's a wait. It's a waiting game because all the same, we are still persecuting the. I mean, uh, processing the matter to say all those who are responsible, they must come before and the courts and account so that it is clear that no one is above the law. Not that because you are a sitting president, you must evade the law. Are you are you happy with how the proceedings went went today with regards to this issue? Well, we are not necessarily happy because you can see that there is some form of a bias in our judiciary system, you know, and this is a matter that we need to deal with because uh, state apparatus are used to persecute political opponents, you know. I'm standing here with me, with Comrade Onika. She's sitting in another matter where it is said that they must face treason. Treason for what, you know? Well, thank you so much. I and that, that was uh, the members of MK here who came to support from a president Jacob Zuma. Currently, like I said, uh, since our arrival here, uh, we've saw, we've seen uh, rather uh, MK members, you know, starting to come in, and we saw uh, there they were uh, just building a, a podium where I guess the former president is going to the former president and the president or the leader of MK is going to speak to those who. Uh, support him in this matter. Like I said, Dayanda, uh, there's a different stream from uh, what had transpired last year with regards to this matter. When he came here, uh, there was no MK uh, uh, members. And now, uh, there's a lot of people that came to show support uh, to former President Jacob Zuma. With that being said, Dayanda, back to you in the studio. The pace picking up very quickly there as you're drowned out by all the activity. Thanks very much for now. Of course, once the former president speaks, we'll be back live to you there to get a sense for our views at least what happens next. Ntlanda Khatani, part of our team outside the High Court in Johannesburg.